blessings, everybody, and welcome to On the Deck Live once again with me, Tony Marie, and my company. My company today is one of my faithful friends, Christy Taylor, of Christy Taylor Music Studios in Lewis, Delaware. So, uh, hey, how are you doing today? That's good. Thank I'm glad you for to me. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. It's beautiful out here. I know, oh, isn't it? I love yeah, it. I thought about doing, you know, on the deck live to get the, mm. you know, nature oh, feed. Yeah, it might be a deer that might come I know. Join us. Wouldn't that be beautiful? You can hear the birds singing. The birds are here. They're already yeah. singing. <laughs> so, you know, Christy, I always think about how we met. Oh, you know, at the good old story. Staples. It was. I was. I was copying music. You were doing something for your Black History event um, okay. uh, service uh, at uh, Shiloh in, in Wilmington. Yep, yeah, in Wilmington, and we got to talking at the register. And yeah. knew that we had music in yeah. common, and we switched names and yeah. numbers, and <laughs> this is where and we here end we up. Here we are. Here we are. So. Um, Tell everybody a little bit about you. You know, I know you're my band member, uh, band leader rather, and well, music director of many shows. But tell everybody about yourself. Oh wow, well, um, I'm Christy Taylor. I've been around for a while, and um, a music educator. I feel blessed to have been, um, you know, the sole proprietor of Taylor Music Studios for. A long time <laughs> and uh, several million decades and I feel what a privilege as I see kids that I've taught graduate and then see the parents of kids that I've taught uh, have uh, kids that are graduating including my grandchildren including that you taught your, many 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 years your ago including beautiful grandchildren <laughs> and uh, my daughter saying mom you think I think you've taught almost every school in Sussex but there's a journey that we all have and I feel blessed that God has given me an opportunity to had the privilege to meet beautiful people like you. Thank you. It's a it's a flower in my life. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So I do a lot of things, but mostly the love of music because music is a healer. Yes. And here we are, even in the midst of a, a air quality issue, that we can say Today. music is a healer yes, for is. people who are going through so much in life. It's such a really tough time to turn on the news and still be feeling like joy. So yes. music is joyful, and I'm glad that through our music ensembles and my my lessons with all ages and all kinds of instruments, I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, you do so much in the community, and I've learned so much from you uh, from the time we met. You know, you brought me into that jazz world and R&B, and, you know, I still stick to our praise and worship. You know, we got to do that. That's first and foremost. And you've been nice <laughs> enough to come to Bloomington and bless us and yes. all the things that you've done. Oh, my gosh. And really inspired to play on your grandmother's piano today in our effort. Beautiful. It is what a blessing. The whole, her spirit is all The whole around. concept, and it reminds me of my beautiful mother, a musician, and all of those who have come and gone, that it's a music journey that we have found ourselves in together as sisters. Right. We are sisters. I love it. I love it. So, um, of course, we're going to have to talk about your brother. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I have actually both Howie and Brian. Howie's my oldest. He's a psychologist teaching at a University of Pennsylvania for many years. Also, a, not only a scholar but a writer of Black uh, family and uh, Black research in uh, areas that tie into my brother Brian's work. But more importantly, uh, the mental health part of it for uh, the era that we're living in has been researched thoroughly by a lot of the work Howard has done and. Mm -hmm and he's created a, um, a lion story, which is uh, working with uh, all kinds of folk in Philadelphia area, but it's really about empowering, like who's telling the story? Is right. it the lion or the hunter? Yes. So these proverbs, these African proverbs have come into life, and we, uh, our mother and father, but particularly our mother, a Philadelphian, really taught us about justice and having to create uh, the moment when there's injustice, what do you do about it? And she would be the first one to act upon it very quickly with classy, classy wit and classy articulation in an area that we grew up in, in, in rural Sussex, when an era where uh, we were just not uh, visible and we were not looked upon as the same as some other folk. Exactly. But when you have a strong lioness like she was, she really modeled that. And then Brian uh, took the torch from that. And um, even in high school, we're all Cape grads that he was the greatest debater, he was the greatest actor, he was the extemporaneous winner throughout the state and region, mm. and almost nationally at ninth grade with a beard, 
uh, with um, picking a topic and speaking eloquently on it for the VFW contest. And um, there were people that didn't look like him, but they had to award him the, the awards because of his uh, pr pr you know, presentation. Yeah. And so, you know, after Harvard and after, after Eastern, both my brothers went to uh, Eastern and my daughter um, in Pennsylvania, where it was a, a w awakening of a lot of things. And it should char us to go to the next level. And Brian, uh, after Harvard, decided that um, he didn't want to be that kind of corporate lawyer. And so God moved him into um, working for people that, um, of the poor and wound up in Alabama. It's a long story. But uh, writing Just Mercy, his book, and then the movie, uh, should inspire people yes. and to to that not only is it some inequalities but that if you are um, a person that loves people mm -hmm. and loves to see justice as we all do that yes. we can take the step yes. forward and now EJI Equal Justice Initiative in Montgomery has changed that town he's just opened this week a health center oh. so he's got theaters he's got conference halls he has museum. The, the museum he has the um, lynching memorial uh, 4,000 the, the vision is huge and, and look at God yes that's so, the way God works and it's to inspire all yeah. of us which it has that's right Wow thank yeah. you so much yeah. so if anyone wanted to contact you for music lessons singing lessons <laughs> I want you to come perform. How can they get in Okay, touch it's um, Christy Taylor, 302-500-9189. And the social media, we have um, Christy Taylor Music on, on Facebook, Taylor Music Studios. And our latest group that's performing at Juneteenth on the 24th in Lewis is mm -hmm. CT in the Groove. Can't wait. And these are some young, young folk that uh, work with me, and it'll be very exciting to Aww. see do jazz and Latin and R&B mostly to see these young people perform. They were a big hit last year. So Wonderful. between three and three forty-five, uh, the twenty-fourth of July, June will be at Lewis. Um, the uh, I think it's now renamed um, uh, Mr. Smith, the former um, uh, he was a former t colleague of mine, George Smith Park, right behind oh, the okay. hospital. Used oh, to be a block right behind BB. Mm -hmm. oh, Used cool. to be Blockhouse Clown, but Wonderful. now it's yeah. Wonderful. So it's exciting. That's so great. Well, I am so glad you came. It really means a lot to me, I'm and I plan on seeing you some more with some more of our Come band on, members. Yeah, yeah, and we're just going to make this happen right yeah. here. So, I'm proud of you. Grandma, you. You, thank you, thank you. So, Grandma used to always say that Gershwin had two heads. He had a classical head, and then he had the other head. I and love um, <clears throat> I kind of feel that way sometimes because outside of praise and worship, mm -hmm. I like jazz. You know, and I say God made it all. He did. He so did. and he makes it possible for us to do it. This is so true. Yeah. So I guess we'll go out with a little bit of maybe all of me. Okay.
See everybody. See you next time.